Shortly before 10 a.m., a plume of hot water, mud and rock erupted from Black Diamond Pool in Yellowstone National Park's Biscuit Basin, just about two miles northwest of Old Faithful. No early warning signs were detected by monitoring instruments. Dramatic video posted to social media showed a plume of water and rock fragments soaring about 600 feet into the air as people scrambled for safety. The explosion damaged a nearby sidewalk, and the basin remains closed as geologists assess the activity. Geologists examining the deposits have noted that the rock ejected by the explosion consists of glacial material, sandstone and siltstone, and gravel that lies just beneath the silica center that forms a layer on the surface. No rhyolite bedrock, which lies about 175 feet below the surface, was found, suggesting that the explosion occurred at a much shallower depth and thus did not disturb the bedrock. This is not surprising, since hydrothermal vents are mostly shallow beneath the surface in Yellowstone. The eruption was directed mostly northeast toward the Firehole River, and large boulders, some several feet across and weighing hundreds of pounds, fell in that direction. This fortuitous direction may be why no one standing on the sidewalk at the time was injured. Hydrothermal explosions occur when liquid water boils and turns to steam in the shallow subsurface. Such transitions happen all the time in established geyser systems, such as Old Faithful or Steamboat Geyser, where a well-defined channel system allows the steam and hot liquid water to take an unobstructed path to the surface, resulting in a geyser eruption. However, when the liquid vapor mixture is in a confined, sealed chamber without a well-defined channel system, the pressure from the expanding steam bubbles eventually overcomes the strength of the rock, and an explosion occurs. The explosion was likely caused by changes in the shallow subsurface hot water reservoir. Silica deposits can clog the pipes in the reservoir, causing steam to build up and build up pressure. Data collected by geologists from the explosion debris will provide more details about the actual conditions at the time of the event. Hydrothermal vents are more common than you might think in Yellowstone National Park. They are the most frequent but least damaging hazard, compared to strong earthquakes, lava flows and domes, and caldera forming eruptions. On average, there are several hydrothermal vents of varying sizes somewhere in Yellowstone National Park each year, often in remote areas that might go unnoticed. Some of the largest hydrothermal vents in the last 150 years in Yellowstone National Park occurred in the 1880s at Excelsior Geyser, which is adjacent to Grand Prismatic Spring in the Midway Geyser Basin. The Pork Shop Geyser Vent in September 1989 in the Norris Geyser Basin is perhaps the most famous in the area. The vent was witnessed by several visitors but did not cause any injuries. The event was detected by nearby monitoring instruments designed specifically for this purpose. Without data from these instruments, the unobserved event might never have been recognized. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory specifically targets expanded hydrothermal monitoring as a goal to address the threat posed by small but dangerous hydrothermal eruptions. The monitoring equipment installed in September 2023 at Norris Geyser Basin is a first step toward that goal. Much smaller events are even more common, such as the rare 2018 eruption at Ear Spring, near Old Faithful Geyser. That eruption brought decades of human debris to the surface.
but larger events are also possible. It's too early to say what might happen next for Biscuit Basin.